How's it going guys? Today we're checking out the Bose QC25 noise cancelling headphones. Now for a couple of years here, I've used my Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones, and while they do have phenomenal sound quality, I've found for like long airplane flights or anything like that where I have to wear them for a long period of time, they're kind of uncomfortable, which is weird for super high-end luxury headphones. So these Beats Studio 3 wireless are basically going to be the benchmark that we're going to use to compare these new headphones. Mm, the packaging here is not quite the quality of the uh, Beats, but it is pretty darn close. And here we have it, the headphones themselves. So it actually comes with a little spot to store your AAA battery. It actually comes with one, which is nice, which is how you power the noise cancelingness of the headphones. So these guys are priced around $200, but I picked these up on Amazon on Cyber Monday. They had a fabulous deal for just over $100 for these headphones, which is fabulous. If you can find a deal like that, I'd highly recommend picking it up. Even though there is a newer version of these headphones, the QC25s are still phenomenal. In terms of design, the QC25s are much more flexible and lightweight than the Beats, and I used to think this was kind of a bad thing. I really liked the heftiness of the Beats. They actually add more weight than is really necessary just to make the Beats feel like a more premium headphone, but after hours of wearing them on a plane, that little extra weight can give you a big headache. Also, in terms of design for the earmuffs here, they have significantly more space for your ears inside, whereas I feel like on the Beats, it's really squishing your ears into the outside parts of the speaker. One more design feature here, the Bose earmuffs completely turn flat, which is fabulous for packing because it's going to take up less space. The Beats don't have this feature. If I had to choose one purely for the audio quality, it would still go to the Beats because it's just amazing what they can do. But in terms of everything else, I feel like the Bose is really checking the box for everything that I need. The link to both these headphones will be down in the description below. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.